Real Life Street Stars, hold on. Just like that, we back. It's the HHF situation, man, the hip-hop fraternity, man. We got, once again, we got the legendary Pimp and Ken. And it's very rare that we have a, a family affair in the situation, man, but we got the great Supreme, man. For sure, man, uh, for sure. Uh, spitting image. For sure. Uh, shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yeah, uh, man. And, um, let me ask you, let's start with this. Uh, uh, first and foremost, can uh, whenever you have a situation where you're actually sitting down here with your seed, with your son, mm-hmm. and doing this marketing, going on this marketing tour, right. how does it feel personally to be able to, like, it's very few times that you could actually have, you know, your family, let alone your son, come into kind of the, to what you're into and be proud and be prideful of, like, hey, I'm here with my pops and I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm carrying a torch, basically. How does that feel for you? Well, you know, the biggest fear for any parent is getting that phone call that something happened to one of your children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, the greatest enjoyment is to be able to, you know, be out here on this type of uh, a run and your child is right there with you. And you know, you, you know, I remember I changed his diapers. I remember him being a kid. I remember him on the bikes. I remember him swimming, playing best. I went to his basketball game. Man, that's the greatest feeling you know, on earth. And because who he is. And I know that he's laced with game. You know, it even it's even more pleasure for me to know that he ain't out there smoking crack or in prison or, you know, getting shot at or shooting at somebody. Come on now. Now, uh, we have to introduce him again, man. Uh, and I want you to introduce yourself, man. Uh, you know, Supreme, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let him know who you is. Where you from? You know, for those that may not know, go ahead and introduce yourself, man. This is Street Stars. Hey, man, it's Young Supreme, man. A whole dream, though. You know what I'm talking about? For real, though. I'm from Milwaukee, though. 28th and Birdlife, Taliban. You know? It's crazy, because I don't hear a lot about Milwaukee um, when it comes to uh, just, you know, black people. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Now, mind you, no, no disrespect, because I trust me. We're in Dallas, so I don't. I know up north is different. They're like you ain't heard of this nigga Milwaukee. We're in Dallas, Texas. We don't hear a lot about the shit going south. So honestly, I'm sure. Uh, let me ask a couple black people. Anybody been to Milwaukee? Yes. Oh shit. Okay. Well, goddamn. My bad. Hey, but you know what? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. But, but but niggas never hear about them niggas in Milwaukee. But they go there. They show film them though. Milwaukee niggas get down though. It's a, it's a lot of black people in Milwaukee. It's no. A, and it's an hour. It's an hour away from Chicago. So you got to. And it's like the biggest city that's closest to Chicago. Okay, so okay, okay. you get a lot of you get a lot of yeah. people that that do bullshit and go from yeah, Chicago you know. to go to Milwaukee. You know, people from Milwaukee go to Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. So, There's a lot of black people there. I'm going to put you... Oh, yeah, for sure. Food is right. Corned beef sandwiches, Jake's, go down. So, uh, Prim, I'm going to put you on the spot, man, because... Put me uh, on the spot, and, uh, man. And, uh, Bungalow. And Pim, don't, don't, don't get offended. Don't get offended on no answers. No, whatever you no, said, no, don't get offended. Hey, hey, wait, 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 this whatever. is an open space right now. It's man, whatever. We, we ready for whatever. Yeah, it's an open space right now. It's hey, man, we, this shit in is not on us, man. There you go. So, um, you know... It's very few times. Most people grow up their dads in the steel mill. He's a coal miner. He works at, you know, he's... he's what year are you living in? Yeah, I, 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 right, right. Yeah, he, <laughs> uh, he, he, he's, he's, he's tending to dragons and shit. <laughs> Game of Thrones. No, but mo- most times people people have a father that's working a nine to five. All right. Your daddy was actually in the game. All right. Let me ask you this. What grade do you give him to you? Not your brothers and sisters. What grade do you give him as a father, as a present father, to you growing up? I give him a a 10, times 10, and 10 again. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, my, like I said, like I always say, my pops was like my superhero to me. You know what I mean? And then, like, I had a lot of shit going on at home with my mama. I ain't stay with my pops. I stayed in the trenches, like, in the hood of, Mm -hmm. of Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of shit going on in my environment. So my pops was like my escape. I couldn't wait to go on pop, go with pops and go to Miami and see palm trees and pops. That's a Lamborghini right there. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was my escape. Like, did you know at what point in time did you know your dad was actually what he did when he was in the game? At what point did you see the shit as um, a kid growing up that you saw that your pops was in the game? My first time seeing it, actually seeing it was uh <laughs> we was riding and shit he picked me up and um usually it is always me him my brother or something we gonna ride a, you know kick it like that this time he just was like this is me and you about to ride you about to go to chicago 
I'm like, the fuck? I'm about to get an ass whooped or something? Like, the fuck? Well, I, you wanna, well, I gotta go with myself. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we ride, we ride to Chicago and shit. And um, we meet up with a, a, a white lady. You know what I'm saying? And she, she paid him and gave him a new car and shit like that. And it just blew him. Like, yeah, you asked some questions like yeah, You know what I'm saying? I know who my... You know what I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this shit look crazy. You know she paid saying? him and gave him a new car. A Benz. Brand new a Benz. Car. Brand new. We pulled up in the Benz. We pulled up in the Benz. We pulled up in the blue Benz. We dropped the blue Benz off, hopped in the black Benz with a bank road, and shot back Switched to Milwaukee. the blue one changed for the red. I mean, for the for the, for the, for the black. black. <laughs> Shit. Hey, okay. Hey, so, hey, so at that point, and what I, age, I wasn't. I what was, age I was, were you? I was young. I was like five. I was young, oh, but okay. I mean. I was aware that something was different. I didn't know that my pops was pimping or pimping Ken, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like that. But once I started actually going on the road with pops, once it went that first trip no more, it's the second trip, let's go again. Will you ride with me again? Oh, you ride with me again? Oh, this time it's two hoes. Oh, this time it's five bitches and they left up. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of shit, you know what I mean? Coming down here to Dallas, going to the Harry Hines and going to Miami and really you know what I mean? Going in the uh, flea markets and bitches then broke a nigga and just took all his watches and jewelry and they coming there. It's like that's when I really got to put my wrapping my head around this shit. Like, oh, this shit, some real live shit going on. You know what so, I'm Ken, let me ask you, uh, because that's a very young age. Was you introducing them to that by necessity or you wanted to show him? No, because I, my daddy was a player, right? Johnny Slick, that's the name of my father. My mama wasn't in the game, but my daddy was. And you know, when I was young, I used to go everywhere and I'd be like, Johnny Slick, my daddy. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers, are, you know, man, your daddy a cold motherfucker, right? And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, that helped me out. You know what I'm saying? Me, Johnny Slick being my daddy. So, you know, I had an experience that he didn't ever experience. I had experience of growing up with a father that was in the game. So I knew the importance of exposing him to the game because I'm looking at it like this. He's going to run into those same people that I ran into in the game, and they're going to expect certain shit out of him. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want him to never be dumbfounded to what's going on. I didn't never want him to say, uh, Dad, you know, why did you tell me he was a pimp? You know, and, and his mama got, mind you, was in the game, too. So it was a lot of shit. Like he said, it was a lot of shit going on away from me that I, I felt that his mama couldn't give him Well, I could give him. I could give him. The other side, I can introduce him to Kenny Red. I can introduce him to uh, Bishop. Magnificent. I can, Magnificent. G. Gubb. G -Gub. I, can, I can say Valentino. They Bishop all gave Brown him money. They used to give him bomb candy and shit when he was a kid. Sure. And, and, and give him money and shit. You know, uh, Pimp C. You know, all, I can introduce him to, to all of them. His mama couldn't do that. And I knew that, you know, me being an explosive character, that shit was going to hit him in the face one day. Yeah, so can you tell the story real quick? Um, you said his mom is in the game. Uh, so... Can you tell that story as far as what what the what what so 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 his mama is an interesting story, right? You know because I didn't know his mom was in the game when I first met her, right? You know what I'm saying, me. But her auntie Glory or Glory, yeah. which is Glow, uh, she was in the game. But check this out. Here's the crazy thing: I, the guy that gave me the game, Glory was his bottom hole, star child. Oh wow! So I knew Gloria. Way before I knew his mama. And I knew his daddy way before I knew his mama. So me and his daddy, my, he, my, my, his, my his papa, yeah. his, her mama. So her, his papa had another daughter named Regina. I ended up, she was one of my bitches. She was a stripper. So I didn't know the connection. So I'm, it's going to get deeper than this. Get deeper than this. I'd have had three of his daddy's daughters. You know what I'm saying? It was accidental though, right? Yeah. So, so I went with Dina. And uh, so, 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 uh, but it did, uh, I, this nigga, you know, I, I, you know, nigga named Mike, he was tripping. So I got him for the bitch. He tripping. So I'm a gangster though. You know what I'm saying? So I got the nine and I'm going to kill this nigga Mike. And her daddy said, yeah, please stop. So we became. No, kill the nigga Mike over. What, what you? Because he was he was calling me a pussy. And, okay, you know yeah, he, words he, was, he was acting crazy about a bitch. You know it was all about a bitch. So you know what I'm saying. But he was disrespecting me in Milwaukee. You can't let no nigga disrespect you because they'll kill you. So you know what I'm saying. So that's just out. It's a kill be kills town. So so but her daddy stopped me from killing him, and I didn't go to penitentiary. So 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 now I I don't see him again. So the next time I see him, I'm at this place called CC. I see his mama. She walk up to me, you know, 
I got all this jewelry on, I'm a fly nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still gangster though. I was still a little wild on the edges and shit. And so, you know, I, I'm looking at everybody. So I'm thinking of some gang. She, hey, you know what I'm saying? Me, I said, yeah, 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 what's up? I said, you need to be with some Ken. Nah, Ken need to be with some CC, you know? <laughs> and so, uh, and, and so, you know, I said, I like this little fiery chick. I didn't know <laughs> that she was younger than what she was, right? I but I knew, I knew, I knew her father. So finally, you know, we kicking it for about two or three weeks. She said, I want you to meet my parents. So I go over there and it's my best friend, Donnie. I was like, wow. And Donnie like, you know, he sit me down like he always do. Let me tell you something, Ken, that's my baby now. That's my baby for real now. Don't, don't be on no bullshit. <laughs> now I don't know that she's in the game. You know what I'm saying? Man? I don't know she's in the game. So so long and short, she's also she's in the game. You know, Gloria, her, her auntie was giving her the game. They was going to sure. get money on the on, on the low. You know what I'm saying? And then she brought that to me. And then next thing I know, that's how me and his mama came into it. Then while I messed with his mama, uh, uh, Deidre, who's, yeah. uh, who's daddy, his 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 uh, 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 Di- Diane's uh, girl, which we all know. And him and Diane, him and Diane got a daughter named Deidre. Yeah. So Deidre, not knowing that, you know, not knowing the connection. Yeah. And, and, and Cece didn't know that Deidre was her full sister. That she just knew that she called her stepsister. Come to find out that it was her real sister. So we in New Orleans. And, you know, she said, hey, I want to go to New Orleans. I want to get some money with y'all. So we took her to New Orleans. We get money. And then Danny said, he... Hey, you know, you know, you know that's your sister, right? Like, God damn, why is it with all Donny kids? And that's how, you know, that's how, you know, it was just a weird man. I, I mean, I hate to tell this story, but it was weird. It was just no, a weird shit. I feel like I feel like it need to be told. Yeah, and the, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the shit with me, with me understanding my mama was in the game, like, really would just come from motherfuckers just saying certain shit at first, you know what I mean? I ain't, she ain't really just bust it out like how my pops bust it out, you know what I'm saying? I had to like pick up little shit like, who the fuck is this white guy? You know what I'm saying? Who's Ben? Who's Mike? You know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck, you know what I'm saying? She, oh, we going here, I'm gonna be gone for two weeks, she gonna stay at your grandma house, or I'm gonna be gone for, you know, I'm like, damn, what the fuck going on? Mama didn't have no job, job, nine to five. Hell no. <laughs> my mama was gang. My mama was <laughs> like, I'm gone for two mama. weeks. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. But so shit, now, when she come home, though, we got new shoes yeah. and we, it's all good, though. So, you know what I mean? Like, it so wasn't never see, like. Now you see why sure. I had to introduce you to the game, right? Yeah, so, you kind of got see, to. For sure. She, she, it, see, that yeah. would have traumatized the average kid. kid. for sure. You know what I'm saying? Me? So, he seen this shit. You know, I told I tell the story all the time. He was uh like three months old. Ho came up out of uh, Nicky's and just gave him a hundred dollars. I kept the hundred dollars. I put it in my pocket. It was my trap. It was his trap. It really was in my trap. So he got his first action at a bitch, and she said, "I'm gonna pay him now, Ken, because I know he's gonna be in the game." You know what I'm saying? Because she knew she was cool with his mama because they worked at the right. same club. You know, so she just knew. It. But 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 long and short, you know what I'm saying, if I didn't introduce him to the game, he didn't see all that shit. That shit that he seen with his mama would have been traumatic. Let me ask you, Ken, uh, out of all your children, um, and this is just an honest conversation, mm-hmm. were they all had intentionally on purpose or were they like those like, oh, it's an accident, oh, y'all pregnant, oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta, man, I, I, ain't never, step I ain't never had no baby. <laughs> I yeah, mean, I was going with it and have a baby. <laughs> hey, hey, what, me and his mama went through a couple <laughs> situations, but uh, when he finally, uh, she got pregnant with him, I'm like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you like, like, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we gonna get this money or what? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I always tell him, I said, nigga, you could have been, I said, nigga, the way I was pimping, nigga, you could have been in the toilet, you could have been yeah, in a, yeah, a napping, yeah. I could have jacked you off. And so I said, yeah, yeah. I said, it's a lot of, it's a, it's a well, lot. Check mine at the time. <laughs> yeah, but, but anyway. But so I'm yeah. the chosen one, though. Yeah, the chosen one. You get through that motherfucker. So once she got about three months pregnant, I realized that we're gonna have some yeah, we got, we you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and so uh this guy, how you get the names of pain, I'm mad at this one nigga. I'm sweating this bitch like in blood, you know, because the niggas in DC, they used to they used to hate me, see me coming, because I be I you know, I had so much gang, I just be walking their hoes down the track, sweating their hoes. And then one bitch turned around, she said, I said, Ho, who you with, bitch? Say something, ho. Supreme. And it just stopped me about I said, damn, I said, that's a cold name. 
I said, man, if I ever have a son, man, I'm going to call him that. And that's what it is, man. Cause really is, is, we talking New York? Though, Jay. Yeah, this, talk, this way before. I want to know who the Supreme she was talking about. Uh, the, 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 the Supreme I'm talking about is the nigga. He, 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 he not that dude. He, okay, he not that. Okay, nah, okay, okay. Nah, he, this, this he name, that the name was just cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. So, so. Not, 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 uh, both of their names, Ken or Supreme. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the dude, if you yeah, talk about New that. York, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but now, but, 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 uh, I called him Supreme because the way that bitch turned around, the way she said the name stopped me in my track. I said, that's a cold name. And then, you know what I'm saying? I mean, me and Supreme, you know, we was cool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and I said, man, you know, your bitch, you know what I'm saying? She said your, your name. I told her this year, I said, she said your name, and I named my son after, after you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, unconsciously, you know, just by the mere effect of the situation. Yeah, man. It can really come from the game all the way around, man. From the game to the name to the stage. Yeah, 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 yeah no, no, yeah. Brain, you yeah, yeah, yeah you, really, you really birthed it. Hey, so. man. Lace to the top of the shoe with this shit, though. Let me ask, because we look at a Boosie and his son, Tootie Raw, to where early on, Boosie, like, I'm going to put my son on when his, his first experience with a woman. I'm going to make sure I got him through that shit. I'm going to get him with a badass bitch, whatever, whatever. Uh, Prim, did, you, did your pops, uh, was he there around? And I don't, I like to, I hate to be all, you know, corny and shit, talk about the birds and the bees. But was he there for you to be able to see what the game was when it comes to dealing with women? Like intimately, or were you like, that's all on me over here? And I ain't gotta even talk to him about this shit because I'm already, we already got this shit going on over here. Well, we ain't really, I already, I already like, I just gonna be the first time a motherfucker actually hear this too. I wasn't necessarily like no molested, like with shit, but my first time actually having sex was, I was probably like 11. Oh shit. And I was at my stepsister's house or something. Oh. <laughs> I ain't trying to get nobody say nobody going to nobody going to jail or no shit. And um her somebody at her house, their friend or something. Oh, somebody busy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She was like 16 or something. Uh-huh. She come wake me up on my sleep, like, come in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that was really my first. So I from there though, after that, I was like just managed. Just, yeah, like yeah, that's I'm gonna, that's trying gonna, to hump. I'm trying to That's gonna do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Nice little 16, but, yeah, that's gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, for that's sure. That's gonna but, do it. But you know, and my pops ain't never one never on no like uh Sexual. no weird ass like shit, like, oh yeah, say do to my son, like say like hell no, that's no, we weren't doing no, no bad. No, but see, you gotta remember, I, I never looked at him. Uh, like an average kid, I never we always had a dark conversation. It was no, it was no birds and bees type shit like that. Sure. You know what I'm saying? It was always like, don't trust this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Me, sure. watch these motherfuckers. This is this is this how the game go. This is the other. So I was talking to him like he was 25 years old, yeah. even though he was a kid, because I know one day he was gonna be a 25 year old man. So sure. a lot of the principles that I taught him, I didn't concentrate on him being a kid. I was just, you know, more so concerned as a father of what he's about to, I knew what he's gonna go through. Hey man, your mama, your dad's a pimp, your mama's a hoe. I know this shit was gonna come up and I didn't want him to never feel like, you know, like nigga, you ashamed know, about this, this is something to be ashamed of, nigga, you know what I'm saying? You born in the game, you know what I mean? Sure. That's just, that's just how it is, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, like I said, I could have jacked him off in the toilet. He could, I, I could have put him in the towel, you know what I'm saying? He could have never been born. You know what I'm saying? Me, but he was born, so therefore, you know what I'm saying? It, it just, you know, and my dad did me the same way. My dad used to teach me about shooting, cook, cooking dice. He showed me how to talk. He showed me everything. So you know what I'm saying? Me, I don't, I don't suggest everybody raise their children up the way I raised my children up. But Supreme also went to college. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Supreme also educated. He also could have a conversation about anything. You know, so we didn't just have no weird, you know, oh, you're going to be a pimp type shit. No, it was yeah. like, it was like life lessons. I I, I introduced him to Magnificent. I introduced him to Kenny Red, you know, Gorgeous Dre, Bishop Don, uh, sure. all the people when he was a kid, because I know that these conversations are going to come up. You know, I just, I just took him over by Fillmore Slim House. I met, I oh. took him with Grim, Grandmaster because, you know, he a part of that legacy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he, his mom in the game, I'm in the game. He, he, He's a he's a, a baby that was born in the game. Now, you know what I'm saying? His sisters and brothers, you know, he got sisters whose mamas was in the game. But you know, of course, it's different with your son than it is with your daughter. Now, my other son, you know what I'm saying? I had him when I first came out of prison. 
So, you know what I'm saying? Me, it wasn't no ism with that. You know what I'm saying? That was just like, you know, I'm a fresh out of, out of prison. I'm just, you know, trying to get my rocks off and, you know, it happened. You know what I'm saying? Me, but, you know, now he he came through the whole pipeline of the Pippin Ken legacy. You know what I'm saying? Me, so at this time, you know, I'm across country. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm, I'm knocking niggas' holes and shit. Niggas knocking me for holes. I'm 15 D, 16 D, 5 D. You know, one time a cap of white bitches, he knew the main white bitch, you know, she was like his stepmom and shit, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know, yeah. it was that type of thing. I mean, if I'm making sense. Yeah, yeah. You said that um, your, your old man taught you like crooked dice and all stuff like that. What do you think about the uh, boys that be having a card game, you know, and they be having a card game and they yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? You think that's Hey man, listen, man. <laughs> what hey, what one thing I learned, Pim Buddy, is one game pair another game, right? Yeah. Sure. I mean, if a nigga shake the, the P on you, if a nigga throw the three card Marty, right, and he beat you for a thousand dollars, he might go buy some weed or some motherfucking powder from the from the dope man. The dope man gonna take the money that he bought, go buy some pussy from the bitch up in motherfucking uh, ecstasy. Then the bitch from ecstasy, she gonna go get the car shaked on it. So you know what I'm saying? All, one game, pair another game. So without that game, it would be all his other game. So it always got to be some shit. We need our scammers, we need all that shit for this shit we call the underworld to really work. It don't work if it ain't game. And that's what it say, game, recognize game. Man, I was very good. I like that. Um, what about the when you was in your highest, uh, you know, your pimping days? Did you ever hit the casino? Man, I'm a fucking casino. I probably lost about two, <laughs> two million yeah, at the casino. the casino. Man, listen, man. But, but you know, but you know why? I, see, I fucked up. I was talking about the best, Jim, Danny. Pee Wee Ferguson, uh, you know, uh, Greasy, my daddy, Jack Slick. They taught me how to play, right? I made the biggest mistake of all. I mistake the casino with niggas on the streets. Mm -hmm. And then they, they started peeling me for so much money, I started chasing the money. So I lose 100000 200000 a couple million dollars chasing money. Even though I had the game, I was still caught up in their game. And the casino is a game you can't beat them. It's, it, I, it took me years to realize that I can't beat these motherfuckers because I'm like, I'm trimming niggas on the street. I can play niggas on the street. I can make the dice do all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying, me? And win. But I can't do that with the casino. And now they got me in the square environment. They tearing my ass off. So what are your thoughts as far as, you know, we just seen the situation with 21 Savage and Aiden Ross with the uh, cheating on the cards where it's going beyond the casino, but it's like online gambling. Mm -hmm. Have you tried and dabbled into online gambling and like where there's a cheat Man, code to that? See, I'm a boss. I don't really do, I, I, I should have never been in a casino. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I should never been there. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of game, right? But you know what I mean? I allow myself to get caught up in somebody else's game and that casino ain't nothing but a game. So have you, have you ever hit at the casino? Yeah, I, I won, what, about 140000 one time. I won a lot of tens, but, you know. What would you do? What was your bet? Uh, so one time, uh, a situation happened. Uh, one of my folks had got called up, and uh, uh, she needed a bail for 25000 So I had 13000 I said, man, I ain't finna spend my money. I'm finna take this 13000 Hello, it's 13000 uh, They won every day but 2000 I got mad. I was playing, you know, 100, 200 hand. So I, I, I bet. Um, 2,000 hand. I won. I kept back. Before I know it, I was way up there to 140,000 and I quit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that was blackjack. Then uh, I hit jackpots for 19,000, 20,000. I had a lot of jackpots, but I put a lot of money to hit those jackpots. Yeah. So at the end of the day, the shit just don't add up. It don't pan out, right? And you know, as much game as I got, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of other Bosses like me that got street knowledge and street game, I still got caught up in that game. And, and, and that's one of my biggest regrets in life, you know what I'm saying? That I allow myself to get played, you know, by these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers at this casino, you know, and got caught up in, in the illusion that I could beat these motherfuckers. I've heard the house always wins. For sure. Uh, I was going to say, Primo, um, uh, was your, or, and you can speak on it again as well. Uh, was your pop still in the game as you were coming of age? Like when you start like, you know, checking out females and be like, all right, blah, 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 okay. The, your pops had these, like these, these Dominicans, these Brazilians and shit. So I told you, I, I was around hoes with my pops. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, did you ever, you ever just. 
Hey, yeah. I wanna no, <laughs> you nah, no, nah, nah, I ain't never did that. But 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 once I really understood, when I felt like I understood the pimping, didn't understand the pimping. But when I felt like I did, I text my pops. I'm like, pops, I think I know what I want to be in life. I want to be a pimp. Oh shit! <laughs> you raise your hand in the fourth grade. And he asked, "What you want to be in life?" He was 14. When he yeah. hear me? So, <laughs> so I always was around. I already, you know, what I'm saying, I was always around hoes and with my pop and seeing the shit. So it was like natural for me. And then I'm going to have some guy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, well, I'm at school and I'm in my own life. I'm having my way with these females and different women and shit like that. And eventually I'm just like, okay, what would Pop say? What would Pop do? You know what I'm saying? So you you dabbled in the game. And if so, how far in the game did you get? Uh, did you ever um I didn't I mean what you what you want to now let me ask you this. What you want me to uh did you ever have a female who never been on a stroll, been on a blade, who never sold her body, who never got a dollar off of, you know, giving her stuff away? Did you ever did you ever convince a woman to give give, give, give. get some money out that shit and make sure you get that motherfucking for sure? Change? I definitely had to sell one for sure. God damn. How how did the first one feel? You don't really like the first one. It's like a mo. It's like making your first jump shot. It's like trying to. It's like just you. Been, Swish. You like you've been shooting all day. Bowling. You've been shooting all day. You keep missing. You like damn. I can't make this fucking shot. And then you make that first one. You be like damn. That was fucking, <laughs> ah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like uh. you going crazy. You know what I'm saying? You get that first trap. I ain't gonna lie, but you know. Mm-hmm. Hey man, yeah, that's what. No, no. So, 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 so yeah, mentally. You know what I'm saying? And again, I want to go back to you, Ken, because I love to play devil's advocate on this. You know, some people will look at this whole trade that life you live um, as even part of like a almost like a slave trade, like almost like you're a slave owner, you're a master. But um, they can look at it like that. What do you say to someone that well, might look well, at? Well, first of all. Yeah. Uh, for you squares, you know what I'm saying? You L sevens. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it don't go like that, you know. A bitch, it's always choice. You know what I'm saying? Nine, nine times out of ten, I got chosen with my mom pro. You know, the key to the game is, you know, I, I want mix diamonds. I throw the best cars, you know, Rolls Royces, uh, Maseratis, and bitches, you know what I'm saying? They would choose up on, you know, my business, the way I have, they love my program. So ho would choose the program, not the pimp. For sure. Now, but you got to remember, these same bitches that you think is slaves is the same bitches that can go choose Valentino, can also go choose Dublin. You know what I'm saying? These bitches got more freedom and more latitude than niggas really want to say. And then a lot of these hoes, you understand know me, they don't even got to pay a pimp, because guess what? They see the money for the pimp and even see it. You know, bitch, you get a thousand dollars, she got the thousand dollars. I don't get the thousand dollars to the bitch, come on, break herself. So the bitch got options. The bitch got ambulance, police, you know what I'm saying? Me crossing guards. She don't ask now one of them to say what's a pimping. You know what I'm saying? Me. So now all of us are old. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just a abused old. No, man. Oh, you know, that's yeah. society drawing that picture. Hoes and pimps have a good time, man. They love, bitches love when you call, man. My hoes, man, if I'm fuck them, they want me to choke them and call them a bitch and say I'm daddy's hoe. You know what I'm saying? That's how they love, they love that goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Daddy, and I'm some, the square bi- some of the square bitches like that shit too. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't going to say it. You know what I mean? The square bitches like to get choked and call bitches and hoes and shit. You know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing. Those are pet names for where we come from. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And then, you know, name one bitch, you know what I'm saying, me, that's out there that can't get away from some pimping. That's she, on. She can leave with the trick. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Me? She can leave with yeah. the other pimp. Who? Cassie. Cassie, I don't know. She got out of there. She, <laughs> she, ain't, she free now. She chose to, yeah, she chose to stay for a while. Goddamn. Yeah, but, but, I'm, but she I knew was, she was going to get some type of money from Yeah, she thought she got the money day. now. Exactly. But she was waiting for that shit to she be been given plan, to her. She been plotting and planning yeah, on she this. She had to plot to get the shit, goddamn. They yeah, say women know women leave. Women know they going to leave. No, they right. I get that to the game spitter. See, 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 everybody talking about Cassie. But they're not trying to, they don't ever look at, 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 at the nigga uh, Puffy as the victim. Nah, hey. See, Puffy the one got played. Oh, hey. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she, he had to give her who, how many untold million dollars. But this was a consensual relationship because like you said, she stayed so long. But a lot of people get up under you, they start at your feet, and they end up at your motherfucking throat. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, man, you think people are, people, hey, hey, you think people be, uh, 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 you think they out to be with you, are down to be with you, they down to get you. That's the real game. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So, so, so that's, and, and like I said, man, 
Them hoes, all the hoes, we all got problems. I told you I was molested. I told you my mama, uh, I had abandonment issues. You know what I'm saying? I had five. It's nine of us. So it was Rose, Teresa, Kylie, and me. So by the time it get to me, I'm the baby. Ooh, goo, 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 goo. It's my baby. Look at the little baby. My brother. Oh, our little brother. Then Tony come. Bam. I'm crossed out. Marvin come. Bam. Tony crossed out. Elijah come. Bam. And on down the road. And we all are abandoned. You see what I'm saying? Man? That shit causes you to think and act a certain way. <clears throat> so let me ask you this. Um, and uh, Prim, you can speak on this. Um, we, we What you call it? Uh, Pimp, pimp hop. Is, is that what we're going yeah, with? Yeah, pimp hop. Pimp hop. To where you see rappers, uh, like I can't speak on where, you know, Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, Nelly, where these rappers are now going into this pimpology as far as putting that pimp in their rap. And like, when I look at the, you know, and shout out to 50 Cent, when I look at the 21 questions, when I look at PIMP, mm-hmm. I do see gang. When I look at it, even like, let's say Rick Ross, where uh, not the old Rick Ross, but the new new Rick Ross, where even his lingo, it seems to come from a pimpology. He seems like he's trying to spit that ism mm-hmm. and kind of really give game the way he talks to females, like giving them game. What are your thoughts when you see this in the hip hop culture today? You feel like this is a trend that's over here to the left, or you feel like this is the way the game's going because this is what the kids is on now. We getting back to talking to these ladies like this. I mean, because you're co- you're combating the city girls, you're combating. Uh, the the lottos and the you know these other exactly. ones who's the you know pussy power shit exactly you combating that shit. Exactly. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, my thoughts would be uh, it's just like if a nigga talking like he a gangster and he's saying I'm smoking niggas and I'm doing this. Somebody gonna right. somebody gonna come and test it and see if you you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So if you saying you some pimping and you doing it, nah, nah, nah. Nigga gonna test your pimping, nigga. What's happening? You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, uh, I ain't gonna say too many names, but like, uh, Pops told you a little earlier, I was in the room with somebody recently, you know what I'm saying? And this is my first time meeting them, you know what I mean? And Pops on the phone, we all chopping it. But I had to advocate for the pimping and be like, hold on, nigga, but you know, woo woo though, you know what I'm saying? This, you can't be doing this though, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, it, so it's just like, you know, it's, it, you gonna get tested, shit, you know what I mean? And speaking of testing, Ken, I gotta ask, uh, even when you were coming up in the game, did it ever matter about the amount of money that a pimp had when it comes down to putting that game down? I <laughs> oh, understand what you mean. Like, technically, when I look at these rappers, mm-hmm. they call themselves pimps, but it's more so like, I don't want to call them tricks or nothing, but they have the money to kind of put their money where their mouth is. When you don't have no money to put it where your mouth is, all you got is your mouthpiece. Well, my, 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 when, when pimps used to ride with me when I was young, they said, what's your secret? I said, the secret is, man, you just got to, you got to look good. You got to dress good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if, if I, if Supreme is telling a young lady, hey, we're gonna go to the mountaintop, you know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, bitch, we're gonna get some mix, we're gonna get some diamonds, I'm, you're gonna be, I'm gonna dress you in Louis Vuitton and all this shit, and you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get me a car, you're gonna get a car. He's selling the bitch a dream. But if I come, I wanna be the dream. So when I pull up, everything Supreme and told the bitch, I'm that nigga, and the nigga's like, man, why can't this getting all the hoes? Because you selling the bitch a dream, and I'm the dream that you sell it. You see what I'm saying? And niggas never could understand that. Now, at one time, I was at his level, you know what I'm saying? But when I'm at his level, I'm not finna take that bitch on Harry Hines. I'm not finna take that bitch on Figaro. I'm not finna take that bitch on International. I'm not finna take her on, on in a lot Las Vegas, but, or either on Van, Van Buren Indy School. I'm gonna take that, or, or even in Canada, the live track over there. I'm not, I'm gonna take that bitch somewhere where I can money up, level up, you know what I'm saying? Me, and I can groom her and I can train her. And then I'm gonna tell her, hey, look, what we did, we can do with another bitch. Now, I'm going to level up. And then as I go, I'm going to buy my little trinkets. And then as I get more money, I'm upgrading. Then I'm going to go out there and I'm going to show her, look, bitch, it's prime time. I'm ready to compete with all the, I'm ready to compete with the Magnificent, the Kenny Reds, the Gorgeous Dre, you know what I'm saying, me, the Bishop Don Juan. I'm ready for prime time. But before I'm ready, I want to bring a bitch out there because I'm going to get eat up like Scooby Stacks. They're going to peel me up off the track. They gonna put, put they go they go they gonna put they gonna go get a banana in the Dallas newspaper. They gonna put the banana in the newspaper. Say niggas in the news, you been pimp for the bitch. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. and the bitch ain't missing. She ain't on yeah, no right. milk policy with some, some pimp. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
I like this because I want y'all to have a father son. Uh, I don't want to say argument, but uh, uh, I want y'all to go. I want y'all to have a debate. Uh, you know, y'all can speak to each other, but I'm gonna ask y'all like, um, what would you say is that fragrance that is that you know that that you know that 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 that'll fuck them up and why? Uh, I'm sure it's different for both of y'all. You saying the fragrance? The fragrance, yeah, that, that, that cologne you put on that'll fuck them up. Uh, and why? And why? And like, what's your experience with the motherfucker? Uh, what, what, yeah, which one, whichever one y'all want to go first? I'm just curious. What you think? I think Italian. I'm going to say two. Oh, shit. I'm going to say two. Because that, that Baca Rock been having motherfuckers oh, in a, in a choke code, Baca you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers come through and sweat like motherfucking Baca Rock. She going to take it out the crash, though. You know what I'm saying? Five dollar no. bottle. But, though, Diddy, I don't even think he make this shit no more. Diddy had some shit called Unforgivable. used to come in like a little brown bottle. I remember that shit. Bottle. Never fucked with the shit. But you saying this is that motherfucker? That was that motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie, like, hey man, you can look on Amazon. Hey, you gotta hey, order that, hey, man. That mo, that's but that you, motherfucker. You know, he, hey, you know, he he got a little younger version of the shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, I might bust out on the bitch with some cream. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that cream, cream, yeah. cream too. I fuck with cream. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck with cream, nigga. I fuck with YSL cream. You know what I'm saying? Fuck him up. It, you know, you can go Dior. You can go a lot of different ways. Hey, Y'all put each other on game. Hey, hey, he, yeah. hey, he have all Man, that. Hey, he hey, hey, all hey, that hey, shit, hey, 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 check it out, check it out. Hey, I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Hey, he know who he come to. He's like, free. What I need to do? What you heard? What that you got to fuck with? Tell the truth, though. Tell him, tell him the truth. What cologne that what that the nigga got on? What's that? That's that pimp cologne. I got it. Yeah, 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 what it smell like? What it smell like now? What it smell like now? It smell like, like, smell like some ism, right? Yeah, yeah, come, on come on, come on, motherfucker, it's a motherfucking pivot, man. Come on, come on, put all that shit. Shit ain't gonna knock no bitch, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, put on some baccarat. Yeah, I put this pivot on. Nigga, like, oh shit, don't do something. Don't do something. Oh shit. Let me let me ask because you know we we be having pocket. We be talking um. When it comes to a woman, I just want for both of y'all to answer this. Is there an age to where they could get out the game? Like when I say the game, I mean that whole game. Like the pivot? Yeah. Like, is there an age that a woman could get out the game? I'm not talking about men. Men can do it to You want to go first? You want me to go first? I mean, I ain't gonna lie, but in the game, in the game with women, is like hoes gonna expire. That's how, that's how, that's how the game look at it. You know what I'm saying? Hoes gonna expire. You know what I'm saying? But when air building in New York for a pimp, still gonna stand tall though. You know what I'm so saying? So let me ask you this, and uh, I want, and, and I don't, and I don't want to talk to age. Just give me a duration of years. You think twenty years, and it's you gotta kill that. No, nah, because it, because, wrong, because it depend it depend on what type of game the bitch got. Like, okay, you if you elevate the bitch game and she start doing something different, your bitch might have a a, a trick or a cus, customer John that she might have been having for that whole twenty years, and he still want to pay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it, it it's like, but some hoes expire, and it's like, no, nobody want to, nobody ain't fucking with that no more. Well, you, you know? know, my perspective on it, you know what I'm saying, I me, mean, only time a bitch get off is when she run off. You dig what I'm saying? So I might match on a whole like Idaho potato, but you dig this here though. In my career, and I do call it a career, you know? Oh yeah, not for real. There's peaks and valleys. But at the peak of my career, I say that if I get a bitch and she's like 19 or 20, right? Now you gotta be on me on too. So I get her, she about 19 or 20. I say around about 22. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this, this is an old saying to pimp. The average pimp can get four years out of bitch. Mm -hmm. If you get more than four years, just like Barack Obama, you being reelected. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to be reelected. If you get eight years out of bitch, you really a good pimp. But in four years, the bitch gonna peep everything about you. She gonna know, you know, your weaknesses. She gonna know that you know that that you know you flaw. You're a human being, and that you know you ain't as this Superman as she thought you was in the beginning. So you you, you play out to it, and the bitch left her mama, she will leave you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so you just got to, you know, you just got you, you got you got to really pay attention to that point. So so when 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 she get to that third year, you're supposed to mash harder. You know what I'm saying? You go hard on the bitch. Cause you know you're gonna pimp her away anyway. The bitch fit to get out after about four years, man. You know what I'm saying, man? You can't only run so much bullshit. Ain't that many uh, words in the lexicon and the dictionary that you, can, <laughs> that, that you can give a bitch, right? You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, as, as this bitch is playing out, cause you know we call them burnouts. You know what I'm saying? Me, the first when she first comes, she a turn out, but she eventually become a burnout. When she become a burnout, that's when you just mash the bitch away from you. 
And then, you know what I'm saying? Me, uh, she might go choose up on another pimp. She gonna be a faggot to him. She gonna go choose up on another pimp. She gonna be a faggot to him. She gonna just be a bunch of bullshit. She gonna be a disgruntled ass bitch. She gonna mad because she paid the pimp and it can't, and, and come out, then get out the game what she expected. You know what I'm saying? Me, cause you know, I mean, like, in some cases, right, he'll tell you, and I don't wanna use his mom in a negative way. But his, his, his mama, when, when his mama left, she still got minks and diamonds that I gave her years ago. Mm. We, me and him and his mama were talking about, she, she showed him a ring that I bought her, what, about 30 years ago? Mm-hmm. Motherfucker had so many diamonds. She hands. still got it. She still she got still it. Got she she said, mama, let me have it. Mm-hmm. She, I, I don't make that mother. Am I lying? Yeah, you ain't lying. And she got mink coats and gators <laughs> and all that shit because, you know, sometimes she was the rare person that I got reelected. You know what I'm saying? Me and, and, and you know when, when she wanted to get out the game, I gave her everything. I even gave her some of my shit. You know what I'm saying? Because she was a good, you know, hustler, and she and she got the money. Now it's been bitches. You know what I'm saying? Me that you know they give me six or seven months. You know what I'm saying? Me it's bitches. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But every pimp prayer is to get those four years. Like three, four years. Yeah, three or four years. After four years, man, bitches really ain't no good, man. Because she got game. She got, she, she know you. It's like, ain't, ain't no more, you know, you can say, hey, baby, you know, we're going to the Tyson fight. Ain't no more surprise. Yeah, you know, so, so you, you like, oh, no, nah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, we're going to work because, you know, we're going to, we got to get this car. You know what I'm saying? All the little game that you can run on the bitch, man, all of a sudden that shit going to flatline and it's going to be like, mm, it's going to be a dead campaign. So I, I like this conversation. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to start with you, Prim, and I'm going to go to you, uh, Ken. Uh, what is your definition? And the qualities that you would say need to come with a bottom B, like you stand down, you stomp down. What what would you call? What was what would be your definition of that? And, and that you see in a in a female, what kind of qualities does she bring? What you know? What do you see personally? First of all, she in pocket. She under the, that. She she following the instruction. And then, like a motherfucker say, you know, that's the first thing you got to give a bitch is instruction when you first start because the bitch coming around from the jump. You know what I'm saying? So as long as she instruction, she's showing you she down, she paying like she weighing, you know what I'm saying? And the shit get really getting checked, though, you know what I mean? And then she going to get hit with a, a couple uh, uh rights and left. Not not actually, not no, no we ain't putting no hands on the bitch. We putting plans on the bitch, you know what I'm saying? But though, she gonna get hit with so much shit that it's gonna be coming from her motherfucking mashing on her, all type of shit. And if she able to stay down through all the bullshit, y'all be like, oh yeah. This bitch down, this my this my bottom bitch right here. You know what I mean? This bitch, she she controlling all the other hoes. She she helping you with all the other bitches and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you're a little more locked in with this bitch. And would you personally, would you have a test to see if to check her loyalty to see what would you ever personally put her to the test just to see? If hell she, yeah, hell yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I'll leave one of my guys around. Hey man, get at that bitch, man. See if this bitch is gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know? Yeah. See, yeah, yeah. Yeah, report back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Okay, Ken, uh, what well, one, you- one of the things I, I would do, right, is uh, I would go and I would get about $100,000, right? You know, and I would put it in a briefcase. And, uh, you know, the bishop already did all the shit Supreme said, right? And then I would uh, count it in front of her. And I set it behind the couch. Behind the couch was a fake, another suitcase with some newspaper in it. And I tell the bitch, hey, bitch, look here, I want you to go take this money and put it over here for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if the bitch, you know what I'm saying, if she do what does say the game, and the bitch, you know, she don't do no funny shit, then I know that's how I can prove. I can trust, trust that bitch with 100000 I can trust that bitch to get me 100000 But I had to, first of all, put that bitch to the ultimate test. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and you know, there's a few other you know things I'm gonna give these niggas to. Yeah, there's too much game. No, nah, I'm gonna give like them. Not, not, not that I want to give them no game. I don't want to give them no game, and they go out there and, 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 try, and to they imitate they try to imitate, shit. and then you know they end up yeah. running to a brick wall. <laughs> yeah. nah, and the bitch still a hundred thousand. <laughs> like, let me test that hundred thousand dollars. Be done, goddamn it. <laughs> As a female ever left and then try to come back. Do you accept her back or you like? What well, what well, well, you know, it, it depends on how the bitch leave, right? Uh-huh. If I had a, she chooses. So, so I had a bitch leave me one time for a pimp, right? And uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so I told nigga, I said, say man, you know what I'm saying? I said, I said, man, let me check this bitch one more time, right? So I checked the bitch, you know what I'm saying, me, and then the nigga, you know what I'm saying, me, him and the bitch went on by the business. So the bitch said, hey, 
I'm going to uh, get back in your pimp. And I said, okay, well, bitch, I need that nigga jury and I need a bankroll out that nigga. I want to embarrass him. You know what I'm saying? And if I really don't like you, I tell the bitch to put some lipstick on the nigga and take a picture. And I put his motherfucking picture on the track. Let him know this nigga's a sucker, right? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, depending on the nigga, you know, if he's a fake pimp, you know, if he can stand it. So the bitch, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she'll bring the money back, bring the jury. I call a nigga, say, man, listen, man, come get your jury, man. You know what I'm saying? These are your trophies, man. You know what I'm saying? Come get your jury, man. Jay ain't getting none of this money back because I assume the money must have came from a trick. Because you a pimp, you ain't gonna let the hoe get the money, is you pimping? You know what I'm saying? I mean, and then, you know, I'll take a bitch back like that. Or if the bitch, you know, say Supreme, not my son, the bitch chose up on Supreme, right? Because we had an argument last night. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was a heated argument. And I told the bitch, bitch, sit your punk ass down. Bitch, don't play with me. And then she leave out the door, she go choose Supreme. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and then she called me back. She said, Daddy, you know, I want to come back home. I call that a mad move, right? I don't call that a choosing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but if she, you know what I'm saying, say, uh, go and, you know, she hoeing, she making $1,000 a night, but she killing two, $300 out. And then she stack up on about $3,500, $4,000, $5,000. And then she uh, chews up on Supreme. And, and, and Supreme called me and he said, but yeah, man, the bitch just gave me 5000 I know that bitch really want to be with Supreme. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she ain't really, yeah. you know, I can't trust her no more because sure. the bitch, she stole money. It ain't a mad move. She ain't in her emotions. You know, she really a conniving bitch. Yeah, exactly. And my pimping no longer live there no more. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I just let that bitch go. But, you know, I mean, it's been bitches, you know, that, uh, you know, had career moves. They wanted to go back home. They wanted to be with their kids and shit or go be around their parents. I let them go. And then, you know, they, you know, I remember, uh, I had this little weird shit happen to me, right? I wanted to be saved for a minute. I, I found Jesus and God, the Lord, even though I was a mortgage maker. I don't know how that would happen, but I, I, I found God and I just didn't want to be in the game no more. And, and I, I just let all them hoes go, man. I let all, I let all of them go. And I had, a, I had a couple of businesses, real estate, and some clothing stores. I said, I don't need these hoes no more. <coughs> and then, you know, about two or three bitches that was in my camp, they begged me to come back. And then I let them come back. But in, in, in most cases, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, one, you know, uh, even a can of beans got an expiration date. You know what I'm saying? When a hoe, it ran a course, you know, you got to know it. You know, it's like, it's almost like playing basketball or playing tennis. You can feel that shit. You know, you know when a hole really down with you, you know, it's a pattern change. You know what I'm saying? If you tell a bitch to do this and she doing all that shit and, and the bitch ain't, you know, giving you no issues or no problems, you, you know that this your bitch. But if a bitch, you know, you tell her to come in and she, she, she delay or she taking too long to come and you tell her you need something to eat and she ain't moving fast enough, hey man, you know, that bitch about to expire. And a bitch will leave mentally before she leave physically. A bitch will always leave in the head before she physically leaves. Right. Yeah, so if she did something... Fake. Have you ever put like like a large amount for her to go get to, to come back? What you mean by that? Like, say she leaves, right? And you'd be like, okay, well, you can come back if you bring me a hundred thousand. Well, 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 uh, I had a couple of bitches, you know what I'm saying, when I was younger, that I put a ten thousand dollar choosing fee on their ass. I said, say bitch, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you out here, bitch, you acting you Susie choosy ass bitch, you around here playing with the pimp and hoe. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you willing to come give me, bitch, go hard, bitch, hold up and blow up, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Get some real motherfucking money, hoe. Then you can come holler at the pimp and you know what I mean? Yeah, I did a several bitches like that. And maybe out of ten bitches, about five of them, about fifty percent of them will really stand up to that kind of pressure because they really, really, really want your pimping, right? You know. It ain't a lot of hoes that's gonna be, you know, on that type of shit. You know, a lot of hoes, once a hoe become a faggot and she start playing, you know, that's pretty much in her DNA. Yeah, so. and, you, and you say that 10,000 in the mouth because I remember you had said normally choosing fee was normally about 2,500 that you would say, all right, you can come over here and, you know, we, now we can fuck around. Yeah, so. no, that's, that's for a bitch that was in my pimping oh, yeah, and sorry. left and came back and, you know, she embarrassed me on the blade. And niggas is like, oh yeah, man, you know that bitch, that bitch, that bitch, that the, the tiny bitch, man, she tripping, and she didn't pay this pimp and that pimp, and now she want to come back. So before me to save myself the embarrassment, hey bitch, you know what I'm saying? Me, give me ten thousand, bitch, and it's worth my while. Is there anything that you did like while you was pimping that you regret with like a, a female or nothing? Uh, you know, in this game, ain't no regrets, man. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, what you go through, you grow through. You know, the roads that you take to get to your destiny ain't gonna never be the ones to get you here. It's gonna be your detour. If you'd have gave me a crystal ball, you'd have told me that I was gonna be the CEO of the hip hop fraternity, or I was gonna make all the movies I did and be on all these albums, I would have never believed you because that wasn't in my crystal ball. My crystal ball was, I would be this, that, that, and the other. But I learned through my surgery in life that, you know, you know, life ain't nothing but, you know, a series of events, you know, that, that, that come and go. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you never know where you're going to be tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, did I ever think that I'd be sitting on a real, on your show with my son? No. You know, I, I never think that. So I don't have no regrets, man. And, you know, I, I was a millionaire, my nigga. I'm the first nigga, one of the first few niggas that went platinum off pussy. Come on, man. Niggas so yeah. platinum out, but I went platinum Speak. off pussy. You know what I'm saying? Speak. I mean, you know, my son would tell you his whole life, they never wanted for shit. You know, I mean, I, I man, I can show you a picture of, of our yard. It looked like I paid for the NBA, but I paid for the MPA. I was I, I was Michael Jordan. I was Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I was two, I was the two three. I, you know, I was two three man. You know what I'm saying? The P. And you know, we had all these cars. You know, we lived in big old houses, and that was all. Like when he said he escaped, he was escaping over to there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they had their own basketball court. They had all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sure. and that was for years. So I don't, you know, see. See, 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 uh, uh, how I said, uh, uh, pivoting quit me, I quit pimping. You gotta remember, when I quit pimping years ago, I was the top one in the country. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't quit oh, at the bottom, I quit on top. I could have kept going. Especially when I became the infamous Pepper King. You know how I many hoes? Man, I got a baseball bat, man. Imaginary bat that I got to beat the hoes up off me, man. They try, even at 60, man, bitches be still sweating me trying to get in my business, right? Talking about some, I want to pay you Pepper. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so I never had a problem with the game. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, it was never bad for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all my peers, all them pimp niggas respected me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh. to this day, Grandmaster, all them niggas, man, they'll tell you, man, Ken was one of the best that did it, got away with it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I really, and I and I lived the life. I walk, talk, eat, breathe, shit, heaven. You know what I'm saying? You, you'd never catch me without my utensils on. I always had the best jury, the best mix, the best diamonds, the best parts. So why would I regret that? Okay, well, I ask this. So you, you sitting next to your son, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I couldn't imagine me telling my son to get in the game, right? Cause I just, I've seen so many bad sides of it also. So is there any, cause like right now it's like you talk about it in the same glorified, which I can understand that it comes. I never, but see, I never told him again. Yeah, okay, did. no, 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 that's, that's not the question. I wanna know oh, okay. the, the, the bad sides of the game. Can you explain some of that to the audience? The bad sides for the other niggas, me peeling for their bitches. You know what I'm saying? They, <laughs> it was bad, but that was good for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, man, you know, I feel sorry for them niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I knocked a lot of niggas, man. Uh, I really ain't had, I, I didn't have no, bro, I'm telling you, I never got AIDS. I never had diseases, shit that niggas go through. You know what I'm saying? I Me, mean, you know, I got shot, but that was on some other shit, some gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? But the pimping, man, I had fun the entire period. You know what I'm saying? I had the prettiest bitches in the world, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about bitches, niggas, they look like they, you know, need to be queens and shit, giving me their money. You know, so, so, I, so I got to fuck them bitches if I want to, I got to break them bitches if I want to, and I got to have them bitches simultaneously. Can't too many niggas go say that. You okay. know what I'm saying? So, okay, so I just want to ask this. Um, okay, so you explain in the pimp world, there's no love, right? Right. So did you ever want to experience love while you were pimping? No. Uh, no, because I told you in the uh, previous interview that, you know, I had a triple bypass. I had no sympathy in my heart. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be in the game and, and love the bitch because the bitch ain't guaranteed she belong to the community. We in a game, you got to remember, but she can choose him at any given time. Ain't nothing I can do about it. You know, and if I go out there and try to fight him because I'm in love, they're gonna call me a sucker. They're gonna laugh me off the track. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna never be able to come back. So, so when you got out the game, did you experience love after that? Well, I told you I experienced love with my kids. You know, it's hard for me. I have, I have, I have a woman, right? That's my best friend. She's my partner, right? You know what I'm saying, me? And, you know, if I kiss on the forehead, I might say, yeah, I love you, baby. 
I kiss my daughter on the cheek, I'm telling you, I love, there's different levels of love. You see what I'm saying? When I, when I see my son, we hug each other. I say, I love you, son. But I'm not the type of nigga that have, I got trust issues. I'm fucking crazy. I'm, I'm retarded. I, I can't love this that fucking easy because, you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I didn't see so many times and so many scenarios where love didn't work. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so I'm fucked up in the head. You know what I'm saying? I'm like a shield. I'm like a bulletproof vest. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to you do all kinds of shit to hit me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, but yeah, do I got a woman that I'm down with? Do we get money like a motherfucker? Yeah, we get money. We do everything together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? If you want to call that love, then that's love. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, do I have uh, something in my heart that I just say, you know, oh, I feel this type of, I don't, have, I don't, I don't feel like that. No. No butterflies. Uh, Pray, let me ask you, uh, could you deal with 16 women at one time? 16 personalities trying to control what 16 women are doing at one time, one given month. Could you deal with that? Like, seriously? I can deal with anything if you're asking me. Like, oh, that's how that's I, that's just that's how, that's how, that's how I look at me in my life. You know what I'm saying? I can deal with anything. I'm a real alpha male. Like, I don't, I ain't gonna sit down. I ain't laying down for no nigga. Nothing. My pops will tell you if he say something wrong, that's a, I'm gonna be like, pops, I ain't fucking with that. That ain't how I'm coming. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hear you were like about six, but like 16? I can, can, deal can with, you juggle that? I can deal with anything I want to deal with in this life. I can do, you, do anything I want to do. Do you want to deal with 16 Hell women? Hell no, I don't want to deal with no 16 <laughs> women right now. Them motherfuckers. <laughs> if they paying those shit, hey, man. Yeah, 16, the money, hey, man. Hey, 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 hey. If the money is shit, the money talks, goddammit. Uh, so let me ask both of y'all this because this is 2024. Uh, we got, uh, you know, goddamn Apple glasses and shit to where niggas watch OnlyFans and walking down the street. Pinching titties, I guess. Um, let me ask y'all: Did y'all feel like OnlyFans have deleted the need of a pimp? <laughs> Women are able to. No, now, it was it was OnlyFans. That's actually the kind. We just had this conversation. Shit, the other day, probably three, four in the morning. Like with Sauce Walker, you know what I'm saying? So Sauce Walker, me and him, we chopping it up. And I'm asking him, you know what I mean? Like uh, certain questions, you know what I mean? Like, well, how would you feel if somebody said this about this and said this not Pip and he, you know, uh, uh, explained his point of view to me, you know what I mean? And it's like, shit. He said you something, something very interesting. He said something yeah, very interesting and very important. And I feel like you do, you got to elevate with the game. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's different things that you, you're you going to be able to have to do with, you know what I mean? To keep going with the game or you're going to get left behind doing the same shit and, you know what I mean, doing the old tricks. You feel what I'm saying? So so should a pimp be the nigga uploading the content like and writing the name of what it is? Like, like it's not like a worker. See, it, just kidding, just kidding like you want to say something. Let, let me say this, man. <laughs> Sauce Walker, I love him. That's yeah, my, I love that, 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 that's, that's my little brother. That's, that's my little brother. For sure. And niggas might get mad at what I'm gonna say, but I condone everything that he's doing. I'm gonna sure. tell you why. If you can make a million dollars, my nigga, listen to me, nigga. If you can make a million dollars by putting a bitch on a motherfucking computer. And you can ride like Sauce Walker. You could go to Johnny and buy a half a million dollar chain all on some motherfucking concepts, some new way pimping. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because you own the block, my nigga, that don't mean that that nigga didn't elevate. You know what I mean? Right. Just like when y'all niggas was talking about Pippin' Ken selling DVDs right. and Pippin' Ken that. Now y'all niggas said Pippin' Ken signed Boosie. Pippin' Ken didn't sign Ice-T. Pippin' Ken got a, a, a sign, a, a Rick Walsh finna sign Kevin Gates. That's you know what I'm saying? Me. So you know what I'm saying? If I done listened to the niggas on the block at my, during my time, because y'all niggas wasn't in my time, then I would have never got to the level I'm on now. Got you know what I'm saying? So, so, so I was Walker maybe setting a new trend for these niggas, how they can get off the block. You know what I'm saying? So I respect that. Now, if you want to go back to my old school pimping, is that pimping the way we was brought up? Of course not. You know what I'm saying? You know, but is it pimping in the way that he's elevating the game to another level? Of course. Sauce Walker is killing the game, man. You got to give it to the nigga. He got a bitch showing feats and making millions of dollars showing feats. 
For sure. You know what I'm saying, I mean, but you got niggas in the strip club, they bitches dancing. You got bitches on the track, but you telling me that this man is out of pocket or he ain't pimping because he got a bitch sore. Then somebody said, did he get in the camera? I don't know. I ain't seen that. I, ain't feel, I wouldn't even pay for to see that shit nah. if he was in the camera. That's his motherfucking business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you can't no nigga out there say, you know, in, in reality, in truth, if you could make a million dollars like Sauce Walker did, doing whatever the fuck he did. If you say you ain't gonna do that, then my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you ain't a 100 nigga. You ain't, you ain't keeping yeah, it 100. Sure. See, everybody yeah. say keep it 100. People don't keep it 100. They keep it 75. <laughs> Come on. But they don't keep 100. They ain't gonna tell that girl, hey, look, bitch, you're too fucking fat. You know what I mean? Your breath yeah, is kind of hard to say. You know what I'm saying? Oh, They're not gonna say that. The bitch ain't gonna say, oh, nigga, you know what I'm saying? You don't handle your motherfucking self in the bed no more, nigga. Your dick don't get up no more. People don't keep it 100. They keep it at 75. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Me? And I get everybody 25% of bullshit. Including, yeah, yeah. You, you better know, text me that shit. Don't, 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 don't say that shit in my face. <laughs> you know, we ain't about to have these problems. Okay. You, 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 my, you, you, shit. You don't think you can handle that? No, I can handle anything. Oh, okay. But it's in the delivery. Like, so the way Ken's saying it, that shit might come with something. <laughs> 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 you got, there needs to be some subtlety in your voice. I mean, got, don't sound so angry. Got, no, no, no. Don't sound so upset, motherfucker. No, no, no. What I'm, what I'm saying is like, man, listen. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I give everybody 25% of bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody did. My son, you know, he talked to me. 25% of the shit he said, I'm going to account for bullshit. <laughs> if he go beyond 25%, I'm going to cut him off like a bad habit. You know what I'm saying? Because now it's some bullshit, bullshit on top of some shit. But everybody is got 75%. Even a woman, when she tell you she love you or she tell you handsome and all that in the beginning, you mean the bitch representative. Give it about six or seven months, the real bitch gonna come out. And when, she, when that real bitch come out, you're going to be like, oh man, why the fuck did I get myself in this shit? Because you felt for the bullshit. You thought it was 100 when you should have said, okay, well, she said this. I'm going to put that shit to the side. She said this. I'm going to say, I like to cook all the time. You know, I love rubbing my man back. That's bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, I'll take that bullshit. Yeah, yeah but, but the 75, you can work with that. But if, it, if, if it's 50% bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Me, you know, then, you know what I'm saying? Me. Hey man, that shit ain't that shit ain't what's happening. So let me ask y'all, and uh, I want y'all to be careful with the answer because this could go any way. Uh, you know, these I don't know how they gonna react, but let okay. me ask you something. Okay. Um, I have a cousin of mine who was 21 years old, mm -hmm. and he was pimping on a young girl who he thought was 17 in Texas. Mm -hmm. She turned out that she was 16. She lied about her age. Mm -hmm. uh, the mama found out and said, "This man is, you know." But you got, he got my 60 year old daughter and uh, they went to court. It, it was a fair case. Um, they end up he, he, he could have pleaded out for five years, uh, just pleaded out. But he wanted to go to court. Mama came in, gave a testimony, paid her doc, paid her daughter as a saint. You know, like, oh, she was a perfect child till he got her. And then uh, he ended up getting 20 years at 21 years old for for a female who lied about her age. Yes. Um, so, so what are y'all thoughts when it comes to the amount of so time? So we got a got. rule. We got a rule in the game, right? We don't fuck with puppies. You know what I'm saying? All my hoes are grown, so leave me the fuck alone. That's the, that's the saying in the game, right? If a nigga fuck with an underage bitch, it's your cousin. He deserve it. You know what I mean? He deserve it. Not checking ID. No, well, well, see, now with the ID thing, that's where it's a little gray area. You know what I'm saying? Because most of these women out here that's 17, 18, they look like they're 30 and 40. But still, it's a duty upon a pimp, especially if you're in the game, to make sure that you take her down to the motor vehicle department, you take her to the social security department. All that shit would tell you the, the facts. Yeah. Go get a birth certificate. That's the simple shit that you can do. Don't get caught up in the bitch because she look bad and she young and she horn like a motherfucker. Most young bitches probably fucking at 14. So ain't nothing for her to turn a date. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, that coochie is a bad motherfucker, man. That motherfucker can stretch. You know what I'm saying? They have babies with coochie, so you ain't no such thing as, you know, you laying the pipe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, they determine what's the pipe. So, you know what I'm saying? So, in that respect, you know what I'm saying? I mean, a nigga just miss pimping, he ain't doing his job. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, if I get a bitch and, and, and if the bitch laughing too much and she acting gang goofy, she acting real childish, I'm going to go and get a birth certificate. And even if she came from another pimp, I'm going to go get a social security card. That shit going to all match up. 
And then that's when you can tell if you got an underage or or, 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 or age a bitch that's significant. But some niggas is too lazy. Right, and I hate it because he was young too, like a motherfucker. Like you know, yeah, he, but he like you said, women, women mature faster than men. Yeah, and that's men are a little cool. slow to mature. Twenty one year old nigga might act like he's sixteen at times. Yeah, but he's he, he, but he in the game though. So he, but so so that's 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 what, what life is. Life is lessons. <laughs> but you go through, you grow through. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have a major fall through before you have a major break. break it was Shakespeare said, "Sweet is adversity, because adversity you get one to his destiny." So you know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, you know. You have to understand, you know, when you're in any life situation, not the game, any life situation, you know what I'm saying, me, that there's going to be ebbs and flows. There's going to be peaks and valleys. You know what I'm saying, me? Who knows why the person walks into the grocery store and buy that lottery ticket and win two million? We don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who knows why this person, you know, who seemingly, seemingly is a good person gets 100 years in prison, you know? You know, I mean, the guy, I just had a situation with a guy, uh, uh, he's connected with some of my lawyers at the hip hop fraternity, and he did 32 years, and we tried to help him out, you know, get some money and stuff like that. He did 32 years, and he didn't commit the crime. But he was at the wrong place at the wrong time, and they needed a scapegoat. A white priest had killed somebody, and they charged him with the murder. You know what I'm saying? And then the guy confessed years later. You know, on his deathbed. You know what I'm saying? That's how he got out of jail. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was an unfortunate, uh, Corey Wise, uh, Central Park Five. I did his book called oh. Wise Words. Yeah, I did his book. I gave him the book deal. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you seen, uh, the Netflix when they seen us? Yeah, yeah, when they said, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah he's, 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 I'm his literary agent. So, uh, uh, Corey, right? When you think about Corey, right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, they didn't do none of that shit. All five of them, Yusuf, all of them was innocent. Yeah. But them boys did time in prison. They they did all kind of shit. The Corey White was in jail, man. Lester, all kind of shit, you know. And and he's affected by that shit. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Me, he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. See what I'm saying? But that's the life lessons that he had to go through. You know why he had to go through? I don't know. Man, let's talk about it. So real quick, let's uh, touch on hip hop uh, fraternity. I want y'all to, of course, uh, especially uh, Prima, your involvement in it. Uh, Ken, of course, you as a CEO of a Prima, go ahead and touch on what is the hip hop fraternity? How long has it been around? Uh, what are the uh, the ins and outs of it? You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, uh, again. Where cash at? <laughs> yeah, I'm say, yeah. Cash. We talk to some more people. Yeah. Cash. He probably upstairs. He might be upstairs out of there. He might be upstairs out of there. Bado. Bado. We need to sleep. Tap niggas playing. But, uh. Hey, tap him behind you, man. You got the Google glasses on. Uh, uh, <laughs> Vado, call Vado. cash, call cash right quick. Tell we, cash, yeah, it's, a, it's, uh, it's come, marketing time. Come stand up. It's marketing yeah. time. Got that. Call cash, and both of you, you come here too. Come here, yeah, too. sir. Hey, have you ever heard my? Have you ever heard me on Jermaine P album? I've not heard it. I mean, I'm sure I heard it, but you I don't know, know the exact. John album. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go find it. I'm gonna go find let, it. Let me tell you what I say. www.pippikin.net. Tell the bitch pussy to a drip job wet. That was in 2003. www.pimpkin.com. That was in 2000. Man, I've been on the web. I was selling pimp classes on the web over 25 years ago. I've been on the web since 2016. Before these niggas was born, I was, I'm the first nigga that introduced the web. That's where me and pimp get it from. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, the pimp didn't move to the web. Because every time I, if you hear me on Pimp C album, www.pimpkin.net, sell a bitch, push to a drip job wet. I was promoting over 40 million people let me promote my web, all the albums that were sold. So you understand me? It been moved to the web. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Euros was on the web. Craigslist was on the web. Backpage was on the web. Yeah. These niggas just, you know, they on the yellow bus. You know what I'm saying? They got to catch up. They just a little slow. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I said I respect what the nigga, uh, Sauce what the Sauce Walker's doing because he, he likes to be the head of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? This nigga that made himself a multi-millionaire by showing feet. So you gotta give it up to Sauce Walker. What do you say yeah. to the man? And 50 Cent, all them niggas. 50 Cent, hey, this is 50.com. I had me and him at the same site at the same time. Jeezy had one too. We at the same company. Now for real. So what do you say to the man that still puts his woman out there on Bissonette Street or Figaro or that, you know, that old school way of just go out there and get it? It ain't, it ain't, he ain't touching the web. He just like, I'm strictly. Go out there on the street, come back at the end of the night, and you know, let me. Because you know, what, they, what would you they, say to a man? They, they reading those books, them Donald Goins books, and all them books back in the day. So you know, they want that. 
own feeling. But see, the problem with it is that they want to put the bitches on the blade, but they want to be on the blade and they're not looking like pimps. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these hoes, you know what I'm saying, they don't get the experience of really seeing some ism and some pimping. If y'all going to try to keep it back to the old days, then niggas need to start wearing gators, minks, and diamonds, and all that shit again. You know what I'm saying? And then that shit will be back like it used to be. But until we bring the whole thing back, you know what I'm saying? It's just niggas just going through the motion. And then, you know, like I said, you know, if a bitch want to go out there and sell her pussy, that's on the bitch. Because the nigga ain't really making the bitch do shit. Man, the no. bitch got options, man. Choices. Yeah, choices. bitch got options and choices. So let's talk about it, man. Hip hop fraternity, man. HHF, man. We see, I mean, everybody uh, got on, uh, you know, HHF. the cloth, man. Uh, tell us about, you know, what it is, uh, how long it's been around, uh, how it came about. Um, and is it hard to get into? Because in a fraternity, when I hear fraternity, I mean, it seems like it's like I got to sign up and do some hazing shit or something. Nah, Let nah, me know nah, how nah. it goes. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody, anybody kick it off. We're going to start with shit. Hip-hop fraternity, is, it's its own entity. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, uh, it's run by a bunch of different members. You know what I mean? So we got CEOs in different states. We might got a CEO in Atlanta. We got a CEO in uh, uh, Kentucky. We got a CEO in Texas, I mean, Texas and uh, New York. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of different chapters that make hip hop fraternity run all into one. And um, we, it's really like, if I would have to say, it's not like a, it's a label, but it's like a label slash managing top. You know what I mean? Like, get a motherfucker ready type shit. You feel me? For the game. Music wise or just all Music entertainment wise? wise? By, the, by the, a, 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 a photographer, videographer, we got lawyers, we got uh, uh, spokesmen, politicians. politicians. We got a lot of different things, you know what I mean, inside of HHS. Yeah, definitely, because I know the war show that is coming on uh, April 7th, of course, the whole summit from April 5th to April 7th. Um, it's a lot, it's outside of just music. It's podcasting. It's, okay, it's, um, okay. it's, it's, it's a lot okay. of things going on. So I see it's not just like, uh, it's hip hop, but it's not just music. It seems like it's, it's the all of it. It's the music. hip hop, the, the so. lawyers, the, you know what I mean? All of that. The, the videos, putting everything together, the blueprints, you know? We more so like a, like a think tank. You know what I'm saying? So you got all these people that's in the industry and they newcomers, they in the game or they've been in the game for some years. They went to school for it. Like shooting films. I do acting. You know what I'm saying? I also make music. I went to school for music, you know what I'm saying? So you got a bunch of people in a room that's doing something, you know what I'm saying, that you can link with. And on every Monday we have like networking nights where you can come out, you can perform your song. There's so many people in the room, you can get new followers. You know what I'm saying? You can find content creators. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so it goes back to my question exactly what it is. Um, so a young kid who's 15, I want to rap, and he's watching this interview and says, man, I fuck with Ken. I fuck with his legacy. I see Prem. I fuck with everything he got going on. And I see HHF, the HHF movement. And I want to be a part of that. Uh, what is he expecting? Uh, what does he got to do? Uh, let's just say he's a kid out in California that's watching this. Um, um, yeah, that's a great, a great question. Uh, we have a chapter in California. You know, also, uh, the best way to do is to go to the hiphopfraternity.com and sign up. It's free. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to pay anything to join. You don't have to do no, none of that stuff. So, uh, it's, it's real. free. It's real. Yeah, it's free. And then inside the hiphopfraternity.com, there's a lot of resources, you know what I'm saying, for artists. You know, if you want to learn about publishing, if you want to learn about, uh, uh, royalties and NFTs. It's not just it's not just hip hop. It's everything. Oh, you know it's NFTs. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get into the to the crypto game. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. we also have a, mm -hmm. a, a, a political committee. You know, what I'm saying uh, that deal with uh, politics with uh, James C B Gray. You know. Uh, and you know it, it's it's a fish thing. It's a network organization. It's everything. You know, it's a it's a it's a black fish fish thing. Can um how long has this been around and um your involvement in it as okay, well? Okay, so uh, I'm the founder and the CEO of Hip Hop Fraternity. It started in my condo in Buckhead. Uh, uh, Vado behind me. He's one of the original members. So the original concept was, you know, hip hop is the number one genre of music in the world, you know what I'm saying? Me and uh, we spent a trillion dollars in this industry. You know, every, uh, practically every country endorses hip hop, but hip hop 
has been controlled and ran by what we call vultures, culture vultures. And they pretty much, you know, give these guys a deal. They keep 100% of the profit. And, you know, uh, it was difficult for us as a people to come together because when you think about hip hop, you think about East Coast versus West Coast, therefore versus Bad Boy, No Limit versus Cash Money. It was a very divisive, divisive type of situation. So when I started researching names, I looked up the word hip hop and I looked up the name fraternity. I know fraternity is the Masons, the Elks, you know, the Appas, the Qs, all this stuff like that, right? I know hip hop is a entity that's controlled predominantly by a, a, a Sony Music, Columbia Music, Def Jam. So even those names was fair game. But they never brought them together because they push us so far away from each other. You know, Puffy was on the plane with uh, Master P one time. He said, hey, man, how much they charge you for this flight? He said, 30000 How is that so? They charged me 30000 too. So now you can compare notes. But if you don't have notes to compare, and if you don't have no camaraderie or no unity, it's going to be very difficult for us to do that. So what I came up with, when I, when I came up with this concept, I said, let's, let's bring every body up under one umbrella, one of the auspices, and we replicate ourselves from city to city. I said, and because we use the name hip hop, we can never be demonized as a black militant organization. Because we use the name fraternity, we can never be demonized. If you're the Black Panther, you, you're the worst person on earth. If you're Nation of Islam, you're the worst person on earth. If you SNCC, you're the worst thing on earth. Anything black has a negative connotation and they demonize, they call it black malicious. So what we did was we call it hip hop fraternity. So they would have to call the entire music industry a black militia. They would have to call the whole fraternity industry a black militia. So we killed it with that. And go. then the other thing we did was he's uh, the CEO of St. Louis. He's the CEO of Africa, right? So I created this system where I gave everybody licenses. So everybody is licensed. He's uh, Cameroon but he has his own LLC. So whatever his LLC is, his Vido LLC, that's his company. But I do DBA only. I give him a license, I let him do it, doing business as fraternity. So if he's over in Cameroon, uh, killing some motherfuckers over there doing some crazy shit, he's gonna get indicted. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not the hip hop fraternity because it's under, if he's not paying his taxes, it's under his LLC. Not my LLC. And if he's doing some crazy shit in St. Louis, like game banging or some stupid ass shit, then we, they can't run us into the RICO Act. So you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. It's a think tank. And then we got Brother James, C.B. Gray, who's uh, our, uh, he, he, he's our, uh, he's our political thing. So we're working with the White House. So we want to be politics. So we diversify. We got HHF Magazine. So we control the media. I'm going to say something to you that, uh, uh, that, 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 that I want to, you know, give you an order some game. And this, I, I learned this from my, my brother Van. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's four levels of power. The first power is Washington, D.C. You know what I'm saying? That's legislation, that's politics, that's government, right? Right. And, you know, most of those people are lawyers. And that's where a lot of our brothers and sisters is at in Washington, D.C., because we got a lot of black lawyers. We got a lot of activists, right? But that ain't the only power. The next level is Silicon Valley. You know what I'm saying? The tech world. Yes, sir. It's not many of us there, right? The next level is Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? The media. You know what I'm saying? Me, where you control the imagery. Ain't that many of us there, right? Right. Then the final is the financial capital of the world, New York City, where you have a lot of uh, 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 Wall Street and stuff like that. You feel what I'm saying? So what HHF does is we look at the diversification of these different uh, sec these different sectors of society, right? So we created our own magazine, our own radio for media, our own HHF uh, films for media. You know, we have uh, HHF social media, thehiphopfraternity.com. We don't have to, when, when IG fell off, we were still up. You know what I'm saying? Remember IG fell off? Fell off, yeah, from the game podcast. Yeah, yeah. We, got, we got View from the Game podcast. Uh, we got HHF awards. You know what I'm saying? We got to worry about crying. The niggas crying about the Grammy. Oh, they didn't do this for us. You ain't gonna have, we gonna have that problem. We, have to, we control it on our own stuff. So that's what I, I want to show my young brothers what a real black, free black man look like. You know what I'm saying? We got HHF clothing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, this ain't Gucci. We ain't up here Gucci down. We nice. HHF down. We ain't Louis really down. We look, we HHF down. HHF. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's all about. It's teaching our young children how to create generational wealth. 
how to be empowered. And we do still use certain sustainability. We will accept other ethnic groups coming in, you know, under growth capital, whether it's venture capital, private equity, however they want to come, you know, but we are sustainable. We are scaling our businesses and we are profitable in certain segments of our businesses, right? So if somebody wants to come in, you know, wherever they're from and they want to put up growth capital, they can, but nobody will ever own or be in charge of CEO of a hip hop attorney, but African Americans, because it's hip hop, it's our culture, and it's our call. Yeah, you know, no, definitely. And I love the fact that, like you said, it's a network uh, where we're not closing out the borders. It's a it's a think tank to where the ideas, <coughs> excuse me, the ideas are shared amongst each other. To therefore, you don't know, like, all right, California or in Cameroon, they're doing something different. Or uh, it, we need that that like you said, that network of being able to say, all right, this is going on over here, this is going on over here, and let's put these ideas together, so. Exactly, and like how you saying, like a 15-year-old kid in Cali, he might not got no brothers and no sisters or nothing like that. He go sign he up for the- 60s the, and trying to think- Exactly, you know what I mean? He joined the HHF, now he can go to Atlanta, he can call members of the HHF, oh, I need to get in the studio, where do I, where do I go? I need to shoot a video, and you can contact somebody within the HHF and it can be provided for you whether you went to Kentucky, New York, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? So it's like a risk of resources, resources like. I like that, treat it like the Masons, but yeah, for us, for the underprivileged. And it's free. It's free, you like know, you said, and you there's no charge to get in it. They gotta learn all these degrees, you ain't gotta yeah. do that. What you, what you say, hazing or something? Yeah, going hazing for the first hazing, week. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, go through yeah, this, yeah. you know, no, bring, no, no, you bring us donuts all and, day. And, and white people can join, we don't discriminate. Come on now, let's talk. But about. because it's our culture, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, uh, uh, I mean, just imagine somebody, you know, a, a, a Muslim, you know, and uh, they it's an Arab foundation and you got all black folks in the Arab foundation. That's not going to look good for their culture, you know, any other ethnic group. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so we need to understand that the only one place where this black oil is being created at, that's in the ghettos of America. You know, that, I mean, Eminem tried, you know, the BC Boys tried. You know, but consistently and continuously, you know, the oil is coming out black. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so it's the same. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and I said it's black Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's create generational wealth. It's just that the brothers need to understand a uh, uh, social engineer. They need to understand the traps. You know, it's like I did, I did the thing about uh, rappers need to be aware of the gun laws. And I tried to explain to him, I said, look, if Supreme, my son, he, he got a license to carry. Every time I get in my car, I tell them, bro, I can't be in a car with you if you got a gun because they might not get you for the gun, but they can get me for a ex felon in possession of a firearm. And even though I didn't possess the firearm, it's constructive, it's a constructive possession. That's what they hit Boosie with. Boosie beat the state case, but the federal came back and hit him with ex felon in possession of a firearm. That carried 15 in life. That's what BG just got off of. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we do with the hip hop term. We teach you about cryptology. We teach them about NFTs, NFCs, ASCAP, BMI, all of these things, the metaverse, all these things they must understand. I tell every, and I'm gonna let you uh, go to your next question or we can end it however you wanna do it. I tell him and him and everybody in hip hop trying to say, look here, do you know Michael Jackson? He said, yeah. I said, you know how many records he sold? He sold billions of dollars worth of records. I said, do you know when Michael Jackson first went in that studio, he was a youth? He didn't know that he was an entrepreneur. So whenever you go in that studio, you don't know if you're the next big thing. All of them are entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Or entrepreneurs. You know, you know what I'm saying? How you want to put it? You know what I'm saying? I mean? But they entrepreneur <laughs> something. So they need to understand that this song that you're about to create could be the next Get Rich or Die Trying. It could be the next Juvie. Juvie had a song called Her back in the day. Now I didn't even understand a word he said, but for <laughs> two or three years, that was the number one song in, 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 in four, with the four degrees sold five million records. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, so, you know, no one knows what the future beholds, but our job at the Hip Hop Attorney is to teach them the potentiality. You know, it's potentially you can get hit by a car when you leave up out of here. Yeah. You know, potentially you can be the next big thing you know, it's all about the potential, understanding and recognize the potentiality of life. You know, like I said to you uh, on another se segment, that if I had a crystal ball and you would have told me that I was going to be the CEO of Hip Hop Attorney, I, I couldn't imagine. So the roles that you take to get to your destiny is not the ones that's going to get you there. It's going to be your detours. 
You know what I'm saying? Me. Yes, sir. All these young men are making a detour. You know what I'm saying? They're coming from somewhere. You know. It's also a good thing for people that's coming like from small cities, like for me coming from East St. Louis, it ain't a lot of things that artists can do for the locals. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So me coming down to the to Atlanta and linking up with HHF, it gave me a chance to perform every week that's in front big. of different people in front oh, of Atlanta. Oh, shout that's out big. to uh, 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 Mallory. Mallory. Shout out to uh, Angel. Shout out to Jazzy and Lexi who are running and controlling the headquarters in Atlanta. So if y'all want to get with AJ Jeff Atlanta, go talk to them. And that's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and get uh, some the Instagrams, the websites again. Y'all put those out and also get some shout outs. But for those, I want y'all to give y'all personal Instagrams, but also for the HHF movement, um, websites, uh, things, events coming up, thing, you know, just locations. Uh, go ahead and just, yeah, go ahead and tell them what it is. Yeah, man, it's Young Prime on Whole Dream, dog. You can follow me at One the Great Supreme on everything. That's YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, my music is exclusively on my YouTube right now. I'm trying to build a brand that at Great Supreme. So go check it out. And that's one T H E Great Supreme at One the Great Supreme. The Great Supreme, All right? Yeah. Um, you can follow me on IG at JetboyCast underscore nineteen. Uh, and make sure you go check out my hottest single I got out right now. It's called Brick by Brick. You know what I'm saying? So we look up Brick. Shit boy Where, cast, it's, it's everywhere. Cast. YouTube, Spotify, it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's up everywhere. It's up everywhere. I've been going around the world performing it. So I've been in the city near you. Look for me. Yes. Um, my name is uh, DJ Vado. Uh, my Instagram is Vado Films. You know, uh, also uh, be on the lookout for the uh, new uh, Boosie documentary that uh, about to come out on, on Tubi and that uh, uh, Ken Avi and I, you know, work on it, you know, for over three years. You know what oh. I'm saying? And also you can check out my new song. I got a new song called 237. It's Afrobeat. It's a new vibe. It's a Cameroonian vibe. It's how we come in again as Cameroonian. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. Just in time for springtime, summertime. Yeah, yes, Afrobeat, we need that. Oh, hey. And before that, I will be performing at the White House in March. I'm going to be the first black artist to ever perform at the White House. So stay tuned for that. I don't know you first. What you going to do if... Uh, ain't if, nobody did. Soulja Boy ain't did that. Yeah, and, yeah that's pretty big. Yeah, that's yeah. big. What, what you going to do if Biden fall asleep while you... Man, we're going to wake I'm you up. I'm to wake you up. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. So no, no, no. I don't, don't want to downplay so that. Lit. I don't want to be that's big as shit. No, Bike sure. gonna be up waving his hands. Yeah, whatever. that's no, big as so shit. Lit. And um, it's gun, it's a guns down, stop the violence. Yeah, uh, before. Uh, so. What what you said that's gonna be in March? March, like March twenty set. March, March. March. And mind March. you, this is a political yeah. year, so that's gonna be very big. Well, 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 well right now they, we have to, they, they, we have to all send our IDs and information, and then you know how they do that shit. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta go. You gotta get passed. You gotta pass the shit first. You gotta get approved. So. I'm your boy, Real Pimp Ken underscore on uh, Instagram. Also go and uh, join my podcast and see all the game in the world and a view from the game. Just go to YouTube, type the name Pimp and Ken, you'll see my channel, a view from the game. Also, uh, we got the war show, Ugly Money Summit, Ugly Money and HHF Awards at the Atrium in Atlanta, Georgia, April 5th to the 7th. If you want to get your tickets, go to Eventbrite slash HHF Awards. Also, you can go to HHFMag.com and you can uh, see all the latest news from HHF and all over the world. We do, we, we, we do all trending topics. If you also can go to TheHipHopFraternity.com, you can join for free. Uh, ain't no uh, secrets or nothing that we don't ask you for no donations or nothing. Just yeah. go in there and everything is free. And then uh, I guess... Uh, also, uh, you can also, if you want to get the jackets, if you're HHF oh, for members, real, for real. Uh, you can hit me up at uh, 404-790-9627 and uh, place your order. If there's and, a link, we're going to put it in, in the description of this so they could at least, if there's a link to it. We got okay. the HHF tour with Ugly Money. Yeah, okay. yeah, we got the Ugly Money tour. You know, uh, we got the Trigger Alert. You can find me on Trigger Alert on YouTube for Ugly Money. Uh, it's about uh, the Red Pill. If your brothers know what the red pill is, y'all might want to go check that out, you know. Cool. And lastly, before we get out, man, uh, just, you know, we love for y'all to pay respect, especially this y'all first time on the couch. Uh, any shout outs y'all want to give? Uh, ain't got to go too long, but 
Uh, anybody that helped y'all get to this moment, anybody that y'all might see at home yeah. watching this, y'all want to get some shout outs to. And first, I want to say RP to my step pops, Jeff, JB, 2A legend. And shout out to my son. You the reason I do and go to hard, you know, you know, and go hard for you. Let's go. Hey, yo, Good man. Time. Shout out to the whole Midwest for rocking with me. East St. Louis, St. Louis, the hometown, man. Everybody in it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, mama, we on TV again. Let's go. <laughs> I want to give a big shout out uh, to Omaha, Nebraska. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to be- give a big shout out to Omaha Tuti, you know, Katie Rain, you know what I'm saying? Africa, Cameroon, you know what I'm saying? The whole continent. HHF. Hey, HHF. Hey, oh, hey, shout out hey, to Omaha, Nebraska. That's a new one. Oh, oh, man. Man. Shout out Omaha. Shout out, that's where I'm from. Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to Milwaukee, you know, Milwaukee County. For hey, sure. man, you know, the city that, you know, big me up for years. Shout out to my birthplace, Chicago. Shout out to ATL. Shout out to the entire hip hop fraternity. Special shout out to my lawyer, uh, Tiffany Simmons from Simmons Law. She's the uh, lawyer for the hip hop fraternity. Shout out to Ice T, who's my director, my advisor, my national advisor. Shout out to Yuck Moth, who's my ambassador. Pastor oh, Troy, yeah. who's my ambassador. Shout out to Rick Ross, who's also on my board, director of books. You know, shout out to Steve-O. Shout out to Homestead for the distribution deal that they gave us. And shout out to uh, my uh, CFO, Felicia. Uh, shout out to, uh, man, all the people, Dr. Bay, Roy, you know, DJ 16, Renee, uh, man, has this, <laughs> Zada Shadow. Zada Shadow. And who else on the, on the jump top board? Zada Shadow, yeah, Zada Shadow, yeah. most definitely. And uh, James. Uh, James C.B. Gray, you know what I'm saying? Oh, H.H.S. In, in New York, my whole New York chapter. Shout out to the Ohio chapter. Shout out to the Milwaukee chapter. Shout out to uh, Atlanta Huntsville, chapter. my man Shay in Huntsville. Uh, Bear Renner Kane, Juice Boy, all. I mean, I, hey, look, if I forgot you, man, I ain't, I, I ain't mean to. We just did it real big. Yeah, 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 no, you know, know, you know, uh, a legendary, uh, <laughs> like you said, career yeah. uh, is probably too many shots to give. And uh, hell, I want to shout out HBO because uh, they no longer exist. HBO just sold to Max and Cinemax and then they yeah. bought it. Now, HBO, the word HBO probably won't exist no more, but. You came up off that home box office, HBO pimp <laughs> up, hose down. But man, I gotta say this, man, to have y'all here, it's a blessing. Um, this this uh, level of conversation is something we need on a on a daily basis almost. So I can't wait for the fans to sit in and just digest all this. Uh, we gotta have y'all back whenever y'all in Dallas, but I, I can't wait to have the next one. And we can't wait to come out to uh, Atlanta in April to be a part of the herb. Yeah, the, the Ugly Money HHF Awards, but we got them in the building, man. HHF, man, Hip Hop Fraternity, uh, Pimpinkin, man. Uh, Preen, we got them in the building, man. We can't wait to see what y'all got going on. Yeah. We gotta say it, man. Y'all on the blue couch, man. Y'all are some real life street stars, man. Yeah. Hey, HHF. Let go. I really had street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.